The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. What is less well known is that his rampage laid bare ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Yet differ though we may, we are still allies. Therefore, in the interest of preserving the Aeorzean Alliance, we have reached an agreement. Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, Telegi Adelegi proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. If successful, he will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. The man would threaten the unity of the Aeorzean Alliance and risk countless lives for personal gain. He walks a path all his own, independent of any faction and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. By inciting the less fortunate to violence, he hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domans was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Telegi Adelegi to go to such lengths? What is so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate, and, most likely, charges of treason against the Sultanate? Omega... Pardon? An Oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon. Mayhap larger, we know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. Alagon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. If accurate, it might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the cot, given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation. Destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon. One which could contend with Bahamut. Bahamut! Aye. We were skeptical ourselves. Truth be told, until the Ultima weapon's existence came to light, we thought the inscription had been mistranslated. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carleans did the Ultima weapon, I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. Power enough to subjugate Uldar like as not, and the rest of Eorzea besides. Which is doubtless why Telegi Adelegi yearns to have it. That he should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Tis in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. Pray waste no time chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Uldar. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far-reaching than we assume.
Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I do remember those. I got pictures of them. I think I wore the green ones, didn't I? Those things are fucking huge. Yes, they are. They're bigger than my head. Wow, I can't believe you still got those bad boys. We'll have to wear them one of these days. That's right. Go out drinking and do that. All good. all good. I mean, I can hear it. It's kind of whatever. Damn, buddy. I like the greenish blue ones the best, I think. Yep. I need to get new lenses for the pink ones. Yeah? Are they all tore up or what? Yeah, they're pretty faded. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that sun feels good. Coming to the window. <sighs> Been upstairs recently. Oh, really? Are you playing down in the basement? Yeah. Oh, the sun's not out over here. Oh, it's out here, buddy, and it's fucking beaming. Hey, there's a Rufus. Hey, me, okay? What's the Rufus doing? Sitting in my love seat. Sitting in the love seat? Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm sitting in my spot. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna go pull the trash cans in here. One second. Sure. I just got done. Got done doing what? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that soon. Oh yeah? For your relic? No, I'm done with my relic. Oh. All versions of it? Well, the ones that I want for now. Oh, I was gonna say, like, damn, buddy. There's like six of them. Yeah, right now I have the full animal one, so that's the one I want for right now. I'll do the Eureka one some other time. Gotcha. Taking a break from that. Yeah, that shit's a lot of grinding, buddy. A lot of random waiting around, too. Well, it depends on which one you're doing, if you're doing the fates. Dad's got a treatment in a few minutes. Scions of the Seventh Dawn, on behalf of the people of Gridania, I bid you welcome. 
Your presence is of great comfort to us all in these days of uncertainty. I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a short while ago, the great elemental spoke, and his voice was clarion in its intensity. Ramu is returned unto the forest. Scarce had his words ceased to echo in mine ears when we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs, too, have sensed the presence of the Lord of Levin. Though his exact whereabouts remain unknown, we may safely assume that the Primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Unlike the other Primals you have encountered, Lord Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelve's Wood, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Blessed as you are with the power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a Primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. The Twelve's Wood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, Safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. You have my thanks. Pray make for little solace, then. A member of the Order of the Twin Adder awaits you there. He will advise you on how to find the Lord of Levin. An ill wind blows through the forest. Yet, it is not only the Twelve's Wood that flinches at its coming. All the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation. Have care. They're like, we got this guy that could destroy everything. Could you go fight it? Thanks. And you're like, yeah. Don't you guys do your own shit or You know what I mean like technically I'm an outsider because I'm an adventurer, right? So You would figure that they would have some of their own fail safes in place for Ramu Can't tell me that chick that leads Gridania didn't go. Hmm. He could get out of control. We should probably figure this out Instead of going the strange guy in the corner there with all the weird armor that doesn't match you want to help us? Thanks. Do it. You're like, all right. At this time, freaking Nyx toad things. Like you're running by them and they like yep. lick you and pull you back. Yep, and they suck you back. It's bullshit. Yeah. Jerks. That's weird. That is weird. Cause you're just on the other side of town. Yeah. It's like overcast, big time. There's an overcast here, but um. Yeah. It's gotta be. Well, strength is usually the dead giveaway. Well, actually, the tenacity is the dead giveaway. Oh. Well, fair enough. That or anything that says fending in it. Yeah, that too. I always look for it, but when they have, when they don't have fending in the name, you're like, uh, uh. I have no idea. But you gotta look at the, if it's got mind and all other shit in it, you're like, no, that's not mine. No mind. No intellect. Mm -mm. Yeah. Is yes. it a Disciple of War item, or is it, does it say, like, specific classes to it? Uh, it doesn't say any classes. I'll have to look here. I'm in a cutscene again. But I'm pretty sure it just says all the way across the board, because that's what I normally look for, is it pal Paladin, Gladiator, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And it didn't have anything on there. Let me look again. 
You enjoy it. Wow, I completed a fate that I wasn't even part of. <laughs> I was just on the edge of it. So like, here's some experience points for you, buddy. Thanks. Oh, okay. But I didn't do anything because it was just right over in the corner. It still gave right. it to me. It's like, hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Why would they send these people in here if they can't handle the job? <laughs> like wheezing private, teary eyed private, these guys are all beat up and like, eh. like how the fuck did you even get in here? Magic. Yeah, I guess. Yes, music. If you run out of time before reaching the objective, return to Mexico and he'll refresh your enchantment. Okay, where do I go, bitch? Yeah. But literally everything that I've been spending has been on teleporting. <laughs> There's a sheep. Just like I can't run? That's some bullshit. Ah, the glorious sunlight. Must be nice. Yep. There, I sent a picture for you. So you can enjoy it. <clears throat> you can enjoy it with me. Ah, oh, sun. <laughs> Is it ready? Alright. Food time? The food is ready, apparently. Ooh. Nice. She's losing her mind, running a racetrack. Okay. Okay. Thanolin! 
All right. There he goes. Taking long enough, dude. I tried. I don't tell you, man. Oh, why are you such a dick? I don't know. I just. Sorry, man. <laughs> I do what I can. Now I have to watch Black Clover to cheer myself up. Yeah, probably. You should watch Black Mirror to cheer yourself up. In the most disturbing way possible. Yep. While in your underwear. In your underwear. Who says I'm not already? In oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to ship over some for you. <laughs> if you'll take the challenge. I believe he's probably already in his underwear, though. I'm in my underwear. Are you? I'm not. Not even close. You're not wearing underwear? No. I'm not wearing anything. I'm just naked. Yep, if you get basking in the sunlight here. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Motherfucker, I can't turn them in this quest because a person is sitting on top of the quest giver. That will happen.
fast enough. You're okay. The bad sylphs are just fucking weird. I know that be crazy. Thou art the bringer of light, bane of Ifrit. Titan, Garuda, and Leviathan. I am Ramu, guardian of the children of the forest. Thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? The Gridanians proffer peace? Their words are born of delusion. Thine offer, an insult. Thou speakest of harmony, yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath these boughs in solitude. Yet even that was too much to ask of man. Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Redanian or Galian, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the breast of man. Whence sprung this calamitous seed? In the beginning no such duality existed. Were light and dark given form when man was born? It would explain much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy wake. Thou canst not deny the urgings of thine own nature. Knowing that thy mere presence here portendeth tragedy, wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed upon my wayward charges. That they should entrust so precious a gift to thee. Thou standest apart from thy kin. Thou art the bringer of light, I. But there is something more in thee. Very well. I shall consider thy proposal. Shouldst thou survive my trial, if thou wouldst champion the cause of harmony, I must have proof that thou art fit to play the role. Weather mine ire, and prove to me thereby that thou hast strength enough to stay the darkness which threateneth to consume thee. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, know that all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. <laughs> 